it's it's a very touchy topic. <laughs> Saturday, I went to the Jamaica Expo. The Expo is something that happens yearly. I know when the pandemic hit, it had pause, um, so it's back. My intention was to give you guys a full like experience, but that did not happen. And, and I'm sure any other content creator can tell you, sometimes you go with the intention to do stuff and it just don't work out. The place was really packed. It had a lot of people in there. You know, you just keep bumping into people. So it was just not going to work out for vlogging. Hopefully, I will be able to give you guys the experience another day, another time in life. But it's not happening. I could only show you like pieces of it. Overall, though, with the expo, I'll give you a little bit of information. I went there two days. I went there on Saturday and then I went back on Sunday. On Saturday, I was working with a client. Um, I was covering uh, social media for them and their, and their booth. The cost per person is like 1500 I'm not sure what the cost is per children. Um, I'm not sure what the cost for the boots are. I know that it depends on the size, but I overheard a conversation where someone said it was like 60 I'm not sure which one that one is. But... From what I saw while I was doing the management of the social media for the client, for any person who is considering, as a business person, considering if they should do the X, Y, I think it's a very good opportunity. I'm not sure what the feedback is from other entrepreneurs that I saw there. But overall, I think it's a good opportunity because the traffic, the walking traffic, the amount of people I saw there, it's a really good opportunity. It's a really good opportunity. The price point is decent. And there's so many people who's willing and ready to buy. You just need to market your product or service properly. And especially if you have a really nice booth to attract them or you have some sort of giveaway. It's also a very good place to network. Because when I, while I was there on Saturday and Sunday, I ran into a lot of people. And it was, you know, hey, I'd like to, I would like you to do some marketing for me, blah, blah, blah. So if you're going, make sure that you wear something comfortable. Make sure it's comfortable footwear, comfortable clothing, breathable clothing. If you have a portable fan, take that with you. And you may want to take a big bag, like a nice shopping bag, a nice tote bag. And also walk with cash because some, some boots don't, you know, have the option to do payments through card on sunday i went to uh the creative art walk and i really tried to vlog as well but the experience was cut short because of the heat man we're only in right now we're in may it's not even june yet it's not even july yet why is the place so damn hot for the art walk i do want to go back maybe a little bit later in the year when it's not so hot so hopefully i'll get another opportunity to like 
you know share the experience with you the real way so you have to stay tuned for something like that so it is may happy may and i hope like you you know you're setting your goals for the month of may we are almost halfway into the year guys so make sure you're you know following your vision boards i would have done a vision board video um in the beginning or the latter part of last year because you know i'm all about vision boards and checking off the things off the vision board by the way my vision board is going really well right now like i'm getting things off my list this is the most accomplished i've ever felt in a year like when i say i'm dedicated and i'm focused <laughs> i'm dedicated and i'm focused i can't wait for the end of the year the year's been good so far just hope it continues that way my birth month is next month so there's a lot of preparation right now for june because june is going to be great it's currently 7 26 right now i think I, I don't think i'm going to be doing any more um work for the rest of the evening i'm just going to wrap it up i'm going to uh take a shower right now and do my little nighttime routine and then i'm going to just watch like a series and just go to my bed afterwards and get ready for the next day so if you don't see me for the rest of the night you won't see me tomorrow <laughs>
and I've been trying to correct it, but someone put me on to um, some products and I've been using them. I'm loving them so far. I have started to document the journey. I will not be showing you guys that journey. I feel like that's very personal. But based on the before pictures and where I'm currently at right now, I confidently feel like I'll be all the way out this summer. I'll be living in bikinis and I just wanted to put you guys on. Now the products that I'm gonna show you guys aren't just for females because we're not the only ones that struggle with ingrown hair. I know men also struggle with ingrown hair, especially along the beard line. So the first thing that I do know as it relates to like ingrown and getting rid of them is exfoliating. Currently I'm using furs and you would have seen it in the video, furs. Uh, KP body scrub and I just use it all over my body. It's very important to exfoliate Can't stress that enough. We have to get rid of the old skin and to Rejuvenate the new skin, you know what I mean? And that's what the scrub does. I, I use the body scrub every single day <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. I know persons tend to use it maybe three times for the week but i exfoliate every single night i might not do it in the day but before i go to my bed and that last show before you go to your bed i exfoliate so after you soap up and you rinse then you exfoliate you let that sit for a little bit and then you rinse and then for the ingrowns let's say i'm i've just neared yeah or just waxed or just shaved then i will spray this so this is the Furs Ingrown Eliminator Serum. So you just spray this on the area after you just freshly waxed, shaved, neared. And this is just to eliminate any ingrown that you may incur after getting rid of your hair. And you also spray this whenever you see the ingrown happening just to get rid of it. So it's the Fur Ingrown Eliminator Serum. Alright. Um, and this is not just for the bikini line. You can put this under your underarms. You can put this on your legs or wherever, even on your beards, fellows. So this is not just for females. So for areas where wherever you see that ingrown, you spray this on it. Also, you can apply this daily to prevent it from happening. So it's not just after you've removed your hair, but you can apply it daily just to eliminate and prevent your um hair bumps from happening and by the way any product that i've mentioned in a video is always linked in the description box or you can find them on my website i have a page dedicated to all of the products that i've used and mentioned or talked about the reason why i'm talking about them is because they have worked for me um they're always linked so you can get the direct link to wherever so you can purchase so here are the steps one we're exfoliating our skin on a regular basis to get rid of the dead skin we are getting rid of our hair the right way so far nearing works the best for me i like waxing like i said but it leaves that mark and it's super painful and razors just don't work for me so we're we're getting rid of our body hairs and then we are also spraying our serum to prevent the ingrown hairs. And then last but not least, for the ingrowns that have left the marks, we want to get rid of those as well. So for the removal of dark spots, and this again can also be used on men. This is also for you guys. This is the PFB Vanish Chroma Bright. And it's a skin brightening serum or solution i don't know what you want to call it but it's very easy you just unscrew and you roll it onto the area that you're trying to brighten so i just roll this on every day every night um so that you can you know get rid of the marks as fast as possible
yesterday I went to the music video premiere of Slow Motion, which is a brand new song by Dexter Dops, Bounty Killer, and Baby Sham. There's an appearance, Jada Kino made an appearance in the video, but she doesn't sing. It was actually my very first music video premiere. I've never been to one before, but it was really cool. I got to meet you know the artists from the song we got a chance to network with people and capture interviews um really really cool event i'm glad we went i was invited by my blogger friend janelle her handle is simple local life so if you're interested in like travel stuff you can go ahead and check out her page and then on thursday i went to my very first pole fitness class no I've been trying to get into my fitness. I've been trying to jog. I've been trying to go to the gym. Jogging is just not my thing. I will jog maybe once a week. And I'm okay with that. But to continuously jog, that's not my thing. I don't feel excited to get up every day and jog. I will do races. I will prepare for the races. But to get up and jog every day and use that as a form of fitness... That's not my thing. Um, I tried doing the gym. The gym, the gym is exciting, but then I get bored very easily. The, I guess I don't feel like I'm being challenged enough. I think I just need to increase my weight. But I think my problem with the gym is the people. <laughs> the people is the problem. Like I, I'll be fine if the gym was just empty and it's just me. Um, but I just don't like the people. I don't have a problem with people. I just don't like people coming up to me and talking to me while I'm trying to work out. I'm sweaty. I'm trying to get... <clears throat> I'm sweaty. I'm trying to get into my workout. And people are trying to have a conversation. You know, I'm already, you know, trying to get into the zone. I have my headphones on. And I'm trying to listen to my music. And I'm trying to work out. And people are trying to have a conversation with me. I just don't like that. And then it gets crowding and having to wait on you know a particular machine i just don't have the time for that i can't seem to find a good time to go to the gym um so i just kind of fell off at one point i tried to get new gym gears to kind of motivate me it did and then it did not you know what i mean i got i got bored so i saw this on this girl or this account on tiktok and it's a pole fitness class but that's not the only thing they have they have the uh the hoops they have the hammock they have the um, the flexibility class and they have the pole class. So I, I decided to do a drop-in class, which is just a one-time class, just to kind of see if I would like it. It turns out that I really like the class, to be honest. It was really fun, and I think I want to continue. So I'm going to start off. I'm trying to decide for now if I want to do the the package that includes all of the different classes or if i just want to focus on the pole class i am struggling in the pole class i am struggling it's it's a lot harder than it looks um it definitely works the entire body like after the whole thing my arms were hurting my legs were hurting it works the entire body so i kind of want to continue i want to document the progress and um, I think I want to include everything because I would want to do the hoops. I would want to do the hammock. I think the hammock is the one that I'm least, you know, interested in. But I want to do the hoops. I want to do the flexibility class. I used to do dancing a long time ago. I really like dancing too. So I'm trying to find a dance class that I can, you know, enroll in. I don't want to perform on a stage like I used to. I don't want it to be that serious. I just want to have fun. And I feel like um, fun while I'm working out. I did find a dance class, but I think the girl flies out really often. So the, the classes aren't um, weekly. It's really dependent on her availability. So I want something a little bit more structured in terms of, you know, I don't want to not be able to do a class, if you get what I mean, during the week. So I think I'm just going to stick with the pole class for now and then do the dance classes a little whenever it's available um and see how i like it i think i eventually will return to the gym and i will do a little running or jogging here and there but i really think i'm gonna like this pole class thing so let's see how it turns out i think i'm gonna end the vlog here 
thank you so much for watching let me know if you like this type of content if you want to see more weekly vlogs or if you want to see more travel stuff let me know in the comment section comment below your favorite part of this vlog i'll see you in the next video Bye.